Hey everyone, how's it going? This is my response to everything that's happening with Kanye uh, in the news and the anti-Semitism. I normally don't make videos like this, but I was speaking about it with someone. So I figured I'd throw my hat in the rink. Uh, clearly, obviously, you know, it's not a good thing, but in my personal opinion, it would seem to me that silencing Kanye is not the answer. Are we surprised that people don't like Jews? Are we surprised that there's anti-Semitism? Are we part of cancel culture where there are things you could say and things you can't say? And it would seem to me that, uh, that this shouldn't be surprising to us. Uh, we know throughout history, people don't like the Jews. Uh, we're the richest, we're the poorest, we're educated, we're not educated enough, we're you know, there, there's no way around that. In fact, I remember the Gemara says, why is it called Har Sinai? Because Sinai from the word Sinah, because that's when hatred came to the world. And we have to accept our role as Am Yisrael and Klal Yisrael. And I don't believe really Kanye is the problem. Uh, it would seem to me an obvious answer to all this, uh, which would be uh, coming to Eretz Yisrael, coming to Israel. And I remember I once saw in the Sefer, Ema Banim Smecha, he says that Hashem is going to bring us to Israel. The Rambam writes Hashem is going to bring us to Israel by way of his messengers. So the Ema Banim Smecha, he writes, what are his messengers? He says, those are good old fashioned Yisurim. The anti-Semitism is going to come to a point and Hashem is going to drive people to Eretz Yisrael. And we know historically that's happened. I don't see why America, although I understand there are certain differences, but I don't see why history in this case would be different than any other time in history. That the Jews have experienced that we live in prosperity, things are going well, Baruch Hashem, and things turn sour, there's anti-Semitism. So again, it doesn't seem to me that Kanye is actually the problem. You know, I was speaking about this with a friend of mine the other night, and Jews are great people. We're awesome. We're the best of the best people. And we're honest people. And if Rabbanim and community leaders got up and said, you know what, let's make a five to 10 year plan to get land in Israel and transition our communities and transition our shuls to Eretz Yisrael, uh, Jews would do that. We would listen to our leaders. We would listen to the Rabbanim. We would listen to the, 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 the powers that be, so to speak, you know? And not only would we do that, we would do that in the best possible way because we have financial means, we have educational attainment, and we have skills in order to carry that out and the ability to, ability to mobilize the troops. And we really shouldn't be surprised that there's anti-Semitism. And it's not Kanye. You don't, you don't hit the, you know, if you're whipped by a stick, you don't hit the stick. It's the person, there's someone behind it. And it's important that we, that we realize this. And we have an Eretz Yisrael, and we have a place that's safe for Jews that we could go to. And it's way more than that also, obviously. And, uh, but it would seem to me that Eretz Yisrael being on the radar for so many people would be, uh, uh, would answer, is the answer to a lot of the problems that American Jewry, our holy brothers and sisters are facing in Chutz Laaretz. And I'm not sure why this isn't spoken about enough or why this isn't brought to the forefront or why lay leaders and Rabbanim aren't talking about this and helping people create a five to 10 year plan where they can transition themselves, their communities, their rubs, their shuls, their friends, their families, and have Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael and move to Eretz Yisrael. And here we have infrastructure here. I mean, there are many miles of being here, but it would seem to me that again, Kanye, is not the problem. And the more we're gonna silence him and the more people are gonna speak out against him, it will do its part, but it's only a band-aid. You don't wanna just treat the symptoms, you wanna treat the root cause itself. And uh, Eric Yisrael's waiting here for us, and whether it's in terms of tuitions or whether it's terms of what's going on in New York about them printing articles, <laughs> the front page of the Times on 9-11, printing about how Hasidim don't follow the rules and a total horrible article, obviously, right? But the answer isn't shut them down, shut them down, shut them down, silence them, silence them, silence them. Uh, it's only temporary. It's only treating the symptoms and it's not actually treating the root cause. And when the Torah came to the world and Har Sinai, Sinai came to the world also, and it's really Hashem's way of telling us, Tolichenu kumumutli artsenu, 
uh, to bring us to Eretz Yisrael with dignity, with our pride, in a way that we could plan. And the answer isn't to fight back stronger. You know, that's just, in my view, just temporary. It's a temporary band-aid. It's not shocking that Kanye doesn't like the Jews. It shouldn't be shocking to anyone, to any firm person, that people don't like us. <laughs> we know this, this is our story. And Baruch Hashem, we're blessed to have the bracha of Yosef at Tzadik that we go from poverty, we go from the Holocaust, we go from horrible places. And in two generations, three generations, we're able to rise to the top and that's no less a bracha that Hashem has given us. But if we think by the way to fight this is by silencing everyone around us, again, we wanna treat the root cause, we wanna acknowledge our destiny and they, uh, we want a plan. So if anyone out there hears this, probably no one will, will, but you know, five to 10 year plan, the leaders, the Rabbanim, the community leaders should be planning to transition their communities because that's the ultimate Eitzah and it's our destiny here. It's Mamish our destiny here. Okay, you know, if anyone finds that helpful, maybe this is falling on deaf ears, but felt like I needed to put my thoughts out. Have a good one.